Hello everybody, I am more than worse than this is Bat and Kaido's Origins once again. And this may very well be the final episode. If this one isn't, then the next one definitely will be. Last time we were running all over Terra's Edge, releasing the afterlings they've been using for power sources. They've got only one afterling left in here. And we need to find out where that bad boy is. It could be up on the fifth floor of Block D. It may also be down here on the fourth floor. So we need to check the whole place before we go making any decisions. And yeah, we can't go up that particular escalator. That one's a no-no zone. And we know better than to go into the no-no zone. That's where all the bad stuff happens. And we can't be getting into bad things if we're a bunch of good little boys. I know I'm a good little boy. I don't go smoking and drinking and driving and then smashing people's faces in with my baseball bat of doom. Shadow Flame Engine. We already got that move. And this is another thing on, yep, the celestial tree stuff's mixing... Basic magma mixing theory suggests that adding darkness root and then a light root to the mix too close together and timing could be dangerous. We'll attempt to put as much space as possible between the timings in which these two are added. The words written on this page end here. Yeah, we're not thinking back to the other things. Like I said, I don't feel like figuring out that puzzle. Saying, oh, you add this particular thing and then, but not these two things next to each other, and but not that thing next to the other thing, and I'm just not in the mood for that kind of puzzle right now. And that's everything up here on the fourth floor, so it's time to head even higher. They got that afterling locked up somewhere. And I'm pretty sure this just leads to the escalator we can't go taken. Not into the no-no zone. We know that now, don't we? This one leads us up, though. Up is good. Sometimes down is also good, but in this one particular case, it is not. So up it is, and left ain't happening. They got that locked up. Then... Yeah, this would be the escalator that takes us back down. So if we head further to the right... Yeah, you're doing your uppy downies. I'll just dance around you. I'm not in the mood for unnecessary battles. Yeah, and this guy here guards the afterling chamber. Of course. Yep. This is the one that's got its cannons aimed at a new a new a, so we'll go turn that stuff off. Anti-continental weapons, show that crest, flash that crest, baby! Alright! Gonna wait, we all know what's waiting for us back there, Billy Gilo Schwumpus, let's go! Yeah, I know, we gotta spread our wings and fly through all the blocks without getting too tired. And then we release the afterling. Blah, bada bing, bada boom, no more cannon. This again. <laughs> Sucky, what do you think? We keep going, of course, we have to. Yeah, we gotta release that last afterling. Terra Z will come tumbling out of the sky. And hopefully it doesn't land on anyone who's just minding their own business. That wouldn't be so healthy for them. And I guess I gotta go down Z's. Alright. I went down Z's enough to shift the balance here. Alright. Just enough stamina to make it here. And I'm ready to get up in there. Let out another afterling. And then they're gonna send out the last of their guards. Hello, mister. Between the two of us, I'm sure we can set this afterling free, Schwumpus. Let it be free! Let my people grow! Thanks. Alright, here goes. Let the big boy out.
And there we go. It really was set free, wasn't it? Yes, this feeling. I know it was safely released. All right, let's go, everyone. Yeah, let's move before the floor does that. Really don't like the idea of getting caught up in all of that. Falling into the sky. Not my ideal way of spending an afternoon. It seems the D-Block has also fallen. Attention all units! Terra Z is being placed under heightened, under heightened alert in all blocks. You all will... We're fine here. Report to D-Block at once and eliminate those intruders. Well, you know good and well that's not gonna happen. You just cleaned out all your troops. Now, if I happen to stumble into your room, you're in trouble. So this room collapsed too. We should leave before we get caught up in the commotion. Nothing but sky stretches out below. So it would seem. Now, let's move. I don't want to be in here no more. So now we gotta head back to the fourth floor to get back on that lateral moving elevator thingamabobber so that we can get back to the main block and then head up into the middle section of all of the everything. And we should be able to head straight for bail height now that we got all the blocks taken care of. But... Part of me wants to head back to Mintaka and load up on a shitload of fruit. You know I like my fruit. Only reason I don't have it now is because it went bad on me and left me in a very vulnerable position. You know how the fruit does that to me. Damn, this thing seems to be moving faster than I remember. Anyway, the way I want to go is off to the right, so pardon me, mister. And this is... Not the room we want. Yeah, this is the room. I remember it's got those dance kings out front. The fucking afro butt plugs. Now, get me to the main block, baby. Yeah, we can go to the main block. And if you're wondering why I didn't go grab the fruit off camera, I tried. But the only way for me to actually reach an exit properly took me through a room that triggered a cutscene that I didn't want going off on ca off camera. Right here. And then I had to replay all three blocks on my own to get back to where I was. Father. Yep, that's him, all right. Yeah, that's where we saw all those soldiers a minute ago. Well. He doesn't seem to care that all of his soldiers have run off all over the place. That's right, big boy, just walk away. And that's it. That's the cutscene that I didn't Bob, want to I not record. Bail Heights down there. Well, not much of a cutscene, I see. You think we could just bust through from here? There were only a few soldiers left in there. Forcing our way through could be fun. I agree. Let's head after Father. All right, let's head in there. Ready, Schwumbus? Hold on a minute. I want some fruit. What? What is it, Schwumbus? What else is there to be done? Fruit. That's what's left to be done. Now, this... Ooh. That's some... Saint's armor. Might be better than some armor I already got. And... It can't be opened from here. What about this thing? Can we open the door from this? Complicated jargon control some parts of the fortress imperial crest Ugh, more authorization active granted all right we're in and main block emergency elevator regulation terminal 
An emergency elevator, huh? It looks like it's inactive right now. Well, start the fucker up! Alright, I'll start up the elevator. God damn, you don't gotta yell at me. Well, fuck you, Soggy! I'll yell at you if you want, if I want to! I'm the damn voice in your head! It looks like it started. Alright, let's go. Yeah, now we can just zip up and down through the main block here. Looks like we can get to a different floor with this elevator. What should we do? First floor! Yeah, this should spit us out right next to the uh, thing that lets us switch the escalators. Which we don't need to do right now. So, yeah. And now I'm gonna save right here. Because I don't want to have to rely on the autosave anymore like I did after ending the previous episode and then having to redo stuff because the autosave overwrote right after I did the fucking cutscene that I fucking wanted to be on camera and all that lost progress, which actually wasn't too bad. Anyway, I'm gonna go grab me some fruit. Well, they just couldn't let me slip on by with my big load of fruit. Now, could they? Didn't think you'd come to this, but here we are. I'm all fruited up and ready to go, but these little bastards just couldn't allow it. They had to get in the way. They had to get shot full of magic and stuff. I don't need no revives since I got so much health now. That is the magic power of fruit. And I don't need to go relay combo in this stuff right now. That guy's very close to dying. Of course, he had to knock Soggy down and he just... Well, whatever. Okay, there he goes. We broke his face. That's enough face breakage right there. He ain't getting back up to tell his mother all the naughty things we done did to him in his sleep. He just weren't ready for it. And just like this guy ain't ready to get his shit smacked. It's a coming though. Here comes that shit smacking I done talked about. Yep, I think he's... Well, he ain't dead, but he's definitely on the ground. I really wanted him to not live through that. Now, Soggy, you're doing some shit right here. And, alright, this'll really fuck that guy up. Fuck that guy in particular. He really has it coming. Oh, fuck you, you gilo killing piece of shit. Now that guy has it coming even harder, but he's not getting it even harder because Gilo's on the fucking ground. And really fuck him up. I want his mother to feel those wounds when he comes to hell. Him and all of his family will be feeling that beating. Now... I'm not seeing enough of these attackers slappy cards. There we go, that's better. And yeah, fuck this guy up right in his tummy. That's where he really needs the fucking up. That's where all the fucking up belongs. Except he's alive. He wasn't supposed to alive through that. Okay, there we go. He was poisoned while he was on the ground. And that killed him. Never discount the threat of poison. There. And now I can turn this speed boost off. And another save, because why the fuck not? I got what I'm... I'm all ready to go. I'm ready to slap Bale Hat right in his political shenanigans. And in order to do that, we must go up. Straight up. And there was another door right next to the room, the one that led us into this room. So what 
maybe in this one. Just the escalator. That's what that is. I could have taken the fucking escalator. Might have been faster, but fuck it. I took the damn fucking the elevator. A grand hall opens up below this window. Bail High should be just ahead. Should we take a closer look at the hall? Let's go. We already took the look we needed. And I'm ready to break in there. We just have that guy and the door operator. Alright, looks like most of the soldiers are spread out to other blocks. The security here has gotten rather thin. It looks like the commotion we caused paid off. So it has. Now let me in there! Do you suppose we could break through all right at this point? Yes, I do. Alright, let's go. Right here. Right now. Ready, Schwumbus? You know it. I got my fruit and I'm ready to go. Here we go. That's what I like to see. Break that window with your sword. Intruders? We're busting through. Yeah, no shit. Come get some, Captain. Is it just you? Nope, you got two guys with you. Don't know where they came from. You was They was hiding all up inside of him. That's where they was. They just like their nasty-ass hidey hole, don't they? Now you can take that. Billy, you're doing some of this. And Soggy, you're healing Gilo, cuz... Gilo done took damage, and I learned my lesson. Gilo is capable of getting killed by these guys. We're all capable of getting killed by these guys, even with the massive boost of health that we have from all that fruit I went and picked up just now. But it's fine. You and your misspelled firecracker can just go fuck yourselves. And Gilo, you're gonna blast the shit out of him. And Soggy's gonna join in on the fun. I'd like for him to have a sword to to equip and go even harder in on the fun, but beggars can't be choosers. Now murder the piss right out of this man. Damn, he's still alive. Why are you still alive? Alive is the one thing you're not supposed to be. Now... Fuck it. Gilo, you're mana booking here. We are not running for this fight. I want that dude dead. I want to be able to explore free around here without any stupid shit happening to get in our way. Now, might want to throw out some goddamn first aid. There we go. Let's waste all this power on that one dude who's, who's an inch from death. Never hurts to just absolutely brutalize that one particular guy. That, now that that's done, I need to find some cards. Why are you never giving me the goddamn attacky cards that I need when I am recording? When I was running around doing this shit again off camera, I fucking had all the cards that I needed right up front. But whenever I'm recording, nope. Fucking RN Jesus decides, hey, I see you recording, so I'm gonna go ahead and make shit harder for you. Cause why the fuck not? Ah, Gilo, you got blowed up again. You really need to stop doing that. You need to stop getting blasted in the face sometimes, don't you know? And I'm gonna make Soggy drink some juice. I don't think this guy's gonna live long enough to do anything else anyway. That's a very powerful weapon I stuck on Millie just before doing that. Yeah, that's like close to 2,000 damage on that one dude. He got fucked up. And Imperial Sword Guard's on the field guide now. Good for him. And, but this machine is covered in broad, a broad variety of switches. Even I don't feel confident enough to mess with something this complex. Let's leave it alone to, and head on. Thought I'd need that to open up the door to follow Veil Height, but I guess not. So, ooh, a flower. 
Don't mind if I take a big nasty shit next to it and use the pedals for toilet paper. Why is that always where I go? Why does my mind always gravitate towards taking a big nasty shit? Well, whatever. Well, hi, I'm here. No locks hold this door closed. If pushed, it would likely open with ease. Bale height is just ahead. Yes, I can feel him. Gilo, Millie, Schwumbus, here we go. Coming for ya, bitch! How's it going, Mr. Politician? I'm sneaking up on ya. Sneaky, sneaky! You're here. Baalheit! Baalheit! Turn Terra's head around right now! Leaders of the other nations are preparing to stand with us. Your plan has failed. Sagi's right, father. If you stop now, the other leaders said they're willing to write the incident off as internal dispute. Please, this has to end. Why? Failed? I think not. Everything's gone exactly as I'd hoped. Once I've destroyed you, Soggy, the last of the Maladators, I won't need to plan anymore. This war I've been fighting can finally come to a close. Milliard, I have you to thank for everything. You've done well bringing Soggy here to me. No, 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 no! Father, you are so wrong! I am not someone you can just tell what to do anymore. I came here because I wanted to, not because I wanted to, not because you said I should. What you're doing is wrong, father. Don't you see? I came here because I have to stop you. I see. I was wondering why you hadn't reported in. And now I know. You've been poisoned by the venoms of your own heart. Listen to me, father. The power people have in their hearts is not evil. I know because of my travels with Sagi, all the people I've met, all the experiences I've had, everyone came as a shock to me because I'd never been anywhere but the mansion. I learned more with Sagi than the School of Magic could ever teach. King Ladakhan's devotion to his friend, Gibari. Rodolfo's courage in defending his homeland. Queen Karelia's noble compassion for the world. Gina's unfaltering love for her children. They all believed in their hearts. And now, I believe too. These feelings in my heart, the feelings I have for Sagi, I won't let you take them. I can't let you. What's the point of Machina if we have to give up our hearts for it? Machina. Machina! That's what the world doesn't need! Holy fuck, he just shot his own daughter. What an asshole! Millie, Millie hang on! Uh, that's a mechanical shoulder you have there. This... This is Machina! How about now, Milliard? Do you need Machina now? The power of Machina saved your life, and you dare reject it? Fifteen years ago, when the Afterlink tore your little body apart, what gave you a second chance? Machina, that's what. Am I wrong, Milliard? I'm sorry, Sagi. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I... I did it again. I lied to you again. My father's telling the truth. Most of my body is made of machina. I owe my life to it. But believe me, my heart is still my own. It's always going to be my own. Don't talk, Millie. You don't have to say anything. I told you before. I trust you. Just stay still. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What father would turn his gun on his own daughter for the sake of ambition? You've gone astray. I won't abide it. Soggy, look after Milliard. I will put this craven in his place.
Or you'll get lasered in the process. Impertinent little scarecrow. Bless it all. My body won't do as it's told. Stand up, Soggy. Let's finish this business, you and I. I will defeat you and fulfill my destiny. We'll just see about that. A one-on-one -on -one duel. Did you say destiny? That's right. Destiny! That game sucks. What are you talking about? Come, Diamond! With this battle, we can end it all! Lend me your strength! And this battle music here is an orchestral version of the standard battle theme from the first game, The True Mirror, that song is called. And I really like its use here. Well, come on, you daughter shooting prick! I'm ready to put you down once and for all. And of course, there's a lot of cards in this deck that Soggy just can't use. Ow, he's poking at me with his little thrusty sword. Well, here's some defense. I might actually need it since it's a one-on-one -on -one duel. Anyway, there you go. Take some of that, why don't you? I will hold on to those potions. Oh damn, you're hitting pretty hard even through that defense. Oop, I accidentally hit the the targety button. Don't need to do that. Now don't need a lot of this stuff that it's given me. Ow! You just healed yourself quite a bit with that. Well it was only 200 damage, I can undo that healing without too much trouble. Now, let me just grab some shit to whoop your ass with. Ow, you're all pokey and shit. Quit doing the pokey. The hokey pokey is not what it's all about. Now, take that. And I could really do with some potion now. I'm sitting at about half health. Ow. Ow. He got those powerful little doinks. I don't like the doink. He just comes in and pokes. Poke, poke, poke. I don't need it in my life. I really, really don't. Now, ow, ow. So... Alright, here's some attacky cards. So I can slappity wappity, but that's not gonna do me a lot of good. Now, okay, take some more slappies. I am dead now, aren't I? I've only got a little bit of health. Yep. You with your little pokey sword, you bastard. Well, too bad for you. I have the ability to simply try again. And I don't feel like editing my deck to fit the situation. So I'm just gonna dig through what I have here. And... Uh, well, this'll just have to do. Take a couple of powerful flamey slaps to the face. And... Then I'm gonna equip me some defenses. Alright. That's some good shit right there. And, yeah, try breaking my defense, you big smelly willy. I am gonna throw down this first aid. It's only a little bit of heals, but better than nothing. And I'll save that potion for when I need it more. Ow, your sword is all prickly pokily. Now there's a defense that I can get behind. I'm gonna use that Imperial Ward, and I'm gonna use it real good. Right here! Except you're gonna get a couple more stabs in, just before I can do it. There. 
You are weak to dark, as it would seem. Damn shame I ain't got no dark attacks for Soggy. So, we'll just see what I can do. Ha! Stupid! I'm invincible right now, because I got that Imperial Ward on. And... Get this Anubis shield out of here. And... Damn, it's not enough to get me level 2 to use the Ascension there, but we'll just have to deal. Deal we shall do, poke. A single poke, that's all you can do. All that power you got and all you can muster up is just one little pokety poke. Well, how about I show you how we actually poke people where we come from? A one real strong poke. Ow, poke. And you're just slowly whittling your way through that Imperial Lord. So... Shit, dog. I might actually have to rework my deck here. Alright, potion. Potion is good. Potion save life. And yummy yummy in my tummy. Now, how about some of that? Oh, of course you go doing that right when I have no defense left, you sack of shit. And you're sleeping! Why you go sleepy by? I didn't want you go sleepy by! Oh, you cheating dick. Well, fine. I got some cheats of my own. But I don't feel like whipping them out just yet. I gotta rework a deck. Oops. Did not want to remove that. Fucking Nintendo buttons. I'm trying to do stuff and you're doing different stuff. Alright, I built me a new deck specifically around Soggy. And why do I only have a couple of cards showing up at a time? That does not seem right. Why is it like this? I don't understand you, game. Now then... I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to have a lot more cards here in my hand. But I fucking don't. Why is that? Do, uh, do the fucking class levels, are those like the only deck specific? If so, that's pretty fucking stupid. Anyway, take some of that. You're very weak to darkness, so dark sword good. And, ow, your pokies are bad. So I'm just gonna drink up that juice. And even more juice. And as soon as I get a chance, you're getting slapped around some more, Bale Hide, you big, wacky little prick. That's better. Well, that really is all I had to do. Did it fucking reduce the difficulty there on me? <laughs> I'll give you credit. You've done a fine job merging Malpercio's strength of your own. What did you expect? Don't estimate, underestimate what Schwambus and I are capable of. What you're capable of? Such an apt choice of words. I never thought our experiment would yield a success story. A complete specimen. You're talking about the Maladeter experiments. The ones Shanath mentioned. That's right, the very same. Would you like to hear about them? You do have a right to know. It began 15 years ago, when Olgan approached me about conducting research on the Afterlings. I was studying the cross-fusion of magna essences. That research became the foundation of today's magna mixtures. 
Well, how is it coming along? Practical application is just beyond our grasp. Right now, we're able to attain 99.999% of target output. That leaves a 0.0001% chance that unknown matter will spawn. Due to the compatibility issues between the magnet essences, we're fusing. Well, I would say that's a negligible margin of error, wouldn't you? Start putting it to use! But, Your Magnificence, there's a real possibility that any number of accidents could occur. I said I don't care! My people are waiting! This technology will place us at the forefront of the world! But what about... Not one more word, Bailheit. Just see that the Magnum Mixture research is concluded. I have a new project for you. Wait until you see what we found during the expedition to Hasale. What did you find? A piece of Malpertio's body. No! But let us say pieces of the god were scattered throughout the world. What's so fantastical about finding them? The real surprise is that the pieces are still living. What? Begin researching ways to house these pieces in humans. Even just one piece contains immeasurable power. I want you to bind it to a human heart and artificially create a spiriter. But... Is that even possible? You will make it possible! There's no limit on funding. I will give you any clearance you need. Get started immediately! Well then, good to see Olgen was a dick before he died. To house a god inside a human? I didn't have my, res my reservations about. S I did have my reservations about such an outlandish request, but still I could not quell my curiosity as a researcher. And so the project began. Surprisingly, everything went smoothly, even the infusion of the afterling. But then. Lord Baelheit, we've done it! Not yet. We won't know until the subject wakes. What sort of rejection signs will he exhibit? The subject's waking up! Where am I? Listen, do you know who I am? What are you saying? This is the Empire's Magnus Research Center. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Stop! Don't aggravate the subject! Where am I? What are you saying? Why did you bring me here? Stars Almighty! Seal off the Research Center now! So, you done fucked shit up. We were able to destroy the test subject, but only after it had obliterated the whole center. When the, em when the Emperor learned of the project's failure, he halted it completely. The remaining subjects were cri quietly released. And one of them was me. So that's why you said destiny. You want to make up for your failure. What egocentric twaddle. Oh, if it were all... Oh, if all it, that all it were. But my story's not over yet. When the afterling ran amok, the entire research center was destroyed, including my wife who resided there. In Milliard, you ended up losing most of your body. My wife was gone, my daughter on the edge of death, and any culpability for the incident was on my shoulders. I placed Milliard in a life support unit and fled the Empire. Empire. I ran from everything, as far as I could. So you went to Mira, found yourself a guardian spirit, and then you started trying to become the Emperor. 
Sounds about right. That's definitely the shrine of spirits that he's skulking around in. <sighs> <sighs> Forgive me, Meliard. My wife, my studies, my career have all been lost. And now I no longer have the will to go on living. I wanted to die. And I was ready. And then... I'm not doing this. That's a different guardian spirit talking. Who's there? Who's speaking in my heart? Don't die. Don't die. Who are you? Well, this spirit's name is Diamond. Diamond? Yep, you got your guardian spirit there. And then you started making shit go all oogly boogly. Well, you can stop feeling bad about yourself now. Because you're about to die. Right here. Right now, as soon as you finish this story. Don't you see the irony? A man waits for death, and instead he's handed the wisdom and power to sway the world's future. But despite all my doubts, my spirit was just as the legend said. She gave me the knowledge I was looking for. Machina! As soon as I returned to the Empire, I dove into Machina research. I knew I could save the world. What couldn't I do with Machina? Even I could even trump the power of the Afterlings. That's my destiny as a spiriter. I don't do it out of some cheap sense of guilt. Now do you see? That's why I fight. I have to destroy you. How can you call that a reason? That doesn't explain why you have to take people's wings of the heart. Wings of the heart are remnants from the, from the age of the gods. Relying on them will only lead to another tragedy. And a thousand years ago, our ancestors became infatuated with the power of their hearts. And what happened? They started a war that befouled the world so much they had to raise the earth into the sky! And afterlings, our hearts will make more. Am I wrong? Tell me, Soggy! So what? What the hell is your point? It's self-righteous crap, Baleheit! All of it! You can keep your excuses! Excuses? You're making all these wild assumptions based on how you see things. Stop deluding yourself. Take the afterlings. They wouldn't have run amok if you hadn't messed with them. And you think we'll fall prey to the power of our hearts? How do you know? The past is just the past. We don't know what will happen unless we try. Don't be a child. What? People are just like water. They pool in the pits of the world until they overflow and drown each other out. I say control the flow. Diamond and I can do it. How? You're a person like everyone else. Enough talk. It's time to silence you and that beast inside you. Guess again. I won't let Soggy and Schwumpus die. Not on my watch. Oh yeah. Now we got the whole team on it. Or mine. I still think you're wrong, Father. I believe in the human heart. If I don't, how can I ever believe in myself? Of course, I'm still stuck with that soggy only deck, and I'm gonna have to die and then reset, but whatever. Do whatever you want. Even my own blood won't stand between me and my duty to the world. I'll destroy you all if I have to. 
Come on, Schwumpus. Everyone, stand together. Yep. But... Okay, I don't have to do this stuff. I can just switch to default deck, set that as active, change members. Yeah, everyone is in. So, yes, okay. I'm not stuck using the deck I made specifically for Soggy. At least there's that. Now, it's time to put Bale Height down for real this time. And you ain't gonna, ain't got the benefit of fighting me one on one this time, boy. Hellfire. That. Okay, that's a bad move to get hit by. That's one of those super special attacks that only Callus was able to use under the right conditions in the first game. So, yeah, he definitely got that spirit power. I mean, Callus definitely had that spirit power. He was the main character of the first game. Even if he did turn out to be an absolute nut job who redeemed himself near, like, more than halfway through the game, but you get the idea. And Millie, you're about to smack your own father right in his dingleberries. And I ain't got enough for the MP to go use in the Imperial Ward, but the Book of Mana, on the other hand, full heal for everybody. And it only costs one single MP. So, yep, here comes Hellfire again. That's fantastic. Well, we're all on the ground. Gilo's on fire. But I think we'll pull through. We'll be fine. There's not a damn thing Balehide can do to stop us now. I probably shouldn't be throwing out those fates cordials. That ain't gonna help our situation. Gilo, throw out a book of mana. Soggy, you got one swipe left on that sword, so no point in holding on to it. And Millie, you're about to smash his teeth in real good. Oh, look, I can use the Imperial Ward now. How's that for defense? Better than that shield I went and slapped on me. But guess what? You ain't... Okay, you are doing some good-ass damage through that shield, because that shield blocks dark, not light. That's what the deal with it is. And yeah, you're hurting pretty bad there, Bale Height. I'm gonna get you. Gilo, you can heal everybody. That is what you're really good for, especially with that book of mana. Now, yeah, you're almost halfway done, big boy. I'll take you down here. And Gilo, you're gonna need that. And Sagi, you're ready to go poking and stabbing. Gilo, you're about to hit him pretty good. Billy, you throw out the heels this time. We're in a good position now. Bale height. I like it to say you're fucked. You ain't got shit against me in this unfairly balanced fight here. Three on one. Kind of a dick move on my part, but well, still fuck you. You deserve this ass whooping that is coming your way, and your daughter's about to whoop on you super hard. Let's see how much you got left in the old gas tank when she's done with this big ass combo. And a whoop. There you go. You've been flattened out, son. You are very close to fucking dying here. And you choose to attack the one person who is completely fucking invincible right now. You, sir, have some weird ideas as to how to fight your battles, but hey, I won't tell you what to do. You're a grown man. You're a spiriter. It's your destiny to go being a penis. 
I want Gilo to hit you with some fail star gleam. So... Oh, look at that. You finally broke my super powerful defense. Good for you. Now, I'm gonna fuck you up super hard. And there you go. Except you're still standing, because you do have that resistance to light damage. Probably should have seen that coming. But it don't matter none. You, sir, are closing in on death. And Hellfire, that's all fine and dandy. You can go ahead and drink that potion, Millie. I think you might need it more than anyone else. And you're good. You stupid ass Hellfire can't save you, Mr. Man. Now, take a couple of swords to the face. Still alive, I see. And, all right, hope the fire don't kill Gilo before they can go blasting this dude. There you go. That's the good shit. I probably should have used the Book of Mana instead of that, but, well, whatever. What can I say? I'm a fucking moron. Now we can use that Book of Mana. And I want to find some cards I can hit you with. There we go, now we're talking. And Millie is about to royally fuck you up. Oops. I done did a stupid there with my cards. I fucked up kinda hard just now. Well, what can I say? I'm an idiot. Oh, here comes Hellfire again. And we're still in the running. You are... About to regret every decision you've ever made, Bale Height. Coming in hot! And what the hell? We'll get Millie in on the fun, too! We got a real good draw right there. Bale Height's done! And I didn't even have to cheat to do it. Why? Diamond! Why won't you lend me your strength? Because you were wrong? Because I'm tired. Wrong? Is that some kind of joke? Answer me, Diamond! You weren't listening to reason anymore. She must have seen that and decided not to help you make it worse. Is that true, Diamond? You think I'm being selfish? Father, please, let's just start over, okay? That's one more thing our hearts are good for. Making a fresh start. A fresh start? For me? I'm losing a lot of blood here. Probably not gonna happen. Father, no! I see you've defeated Baelite. And I see you've made it up here, too. Quaster, when did you arrive, sir? Yeah, Maris, when did you arrive? It's a real good question that needs an answer. And those are some cards I could probably work with. Baelite's in the field guide! <laughs> Soggy, you've betrayed my hopes time and time again, but I'm happy to say you finally come through for me. Why are you arguing? Baleheit just got stabbed. Quaster! Father! It seems spirits aren't good at swaying much of anything, are they? Why, from the look of you, you're just the same as any other dying man. Aren't you a spiriter? 
It certainly helped to have people think so. Just the word Spiriter drew the world's admiration, at least until this wretch came along. But then, sustaining the illusion of talking to a spirit all the time takes a lot out of a man. I was starting to look forward to retirement. You always struck me as disagreeable. Now I know why. Hold your tongue! Puppet! The Quaestor knew what he was doing. Obviously, this was his way of bringing peace to the world. Were you only as humbled as I by his tremendous foresight and vision? Now the world can finally be at peace. Well done, sir. Peace. Spare me, Gildalim. I have no such peace to give. What? What do you mean? I will restructure the world as its new leader, in keeping with Baelheit's legacy of Machina and Warfare. Peace. Why would that only lift the people's spirits without only the people's spirits? That's too tasty a morsel to squander. No. I believe I'll start by eliminating the senatorial riffraff that refused to elect me, followed by all the obsequious <laughs> fools who opposed me. <laughs> you, you used us! Soggy, you were just a pawn, just the one I needed to stand against pro machination. A real spiriter would have been better, but I knew a maladeer like you would still prove useful in exterminating the other, a the other afterlings. A maladeer? So you knew! I ought to. I was the one who recommended you for the project 15 years ago. Your mother, Gina, was it? She was one of my servants. I informed Olgin the moment I heard she was with a child. So there you are. As long as I'm spilling secrets, how's this? I was the one who had that whore's wings pulled out! Baelheit had won over the people by fending off the afterlings, so I thought it could, I could smear his good name by drawing out the afterling within you, right there in front of him. And that means... Shanath! Just another pawn on my board. Like you, except useful. You son of a... <laughs> well, he got dark shit going on. Relax. I'll kill you nice and slow when I get to it. First, I need to put Terrazet back in order. So, Quaestor Varus was the bastard all along. Wait, Quaestor Varus, I'll go with you. I don't think you understand. I have everything. I don't need you or anything else now. You're going to abandon me, sir. But I've done everything for you. You were a beautiful once, but not anymore. Old toys are a waste of space. What else would I do but throw you away? Old? If you'll all excuse me. <laughs> well, yet another plot twist. And I forgot we have a little more dungeon to go before we get to the fight with Varys. Are you alright, Soggy? Yeah, but forget me. What about Millie's father? Yeah, he don't seem to be alive no more. He done got stabbed in the back quite literally. Father, father, hold on. We can still start over. All of us together. Milliard, forgive me. I'm so sorry. No, stop apologizing. You're not gonna die. Soggy, don't think badly of my daughter. I made her do all of those things. I know. 
I know. <laughs> Son of a Goodbye, Diamond. Diamond. I'm sorry we never got to see the end of your story. fixing that. Alright, you two. There's no time to dawdle. We have to go after Ferris. Awfully cheery for someone who just watched their father die, aren't you? Millie. Don't pretend it didn't happen. It's okay to cry. Yeah, you need to let that shit out. You keep it bottled up, it's really gonna mess with you. I'm... Fine. There'll be plenty of time to cry later. Right now, I can't. Alright. Cry once this business is done with. And I mean buckets. You better not let me down. Yes, let's cry. Let's laugh about how much we're going to cry later. Yeah, I can't ever cry in front of you. That's the spirit. Well, we better go. Ferris is probably heading for Terra's edge core. Okay, let's hurry. That's the idea. We're gonna hurry. After I step back here and save. Because I really don't want to have to do that bail height fight again. Unless this footage somehow gets lost and then I have to redo the recording. And doing all those deep, growly voices was just really painful on my throat. Anyway, it looks like we're finishing the game in the next episode, because I'm all out of time for this one. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Goodbye!